Hi YouTube, uh, I'm gonna try to resurrect this battery in this YouTube video. This battery is from MacBook Air uh, 2020 model, A2179. Same battery is uh, in 2018-2019 MacBook Air, uh, model A1932. And this battery is dead. So, and uh, this is my new toy I just got, MacBook Battery Repair Tool. And uh, the way I connected uh, MacBook battery repair tool is as follows. This is green, red wire will go to the power supply, 12 volt. Uh, this green wire coming from the battery from this terminal is, uh, is also connected to the black wire on, on the tool is the ground wire. Uh, the yellow wire is the clock wire and the uh, white wire uh, is the data wire and also uh, a battery detect next pin to the data uh, get my plastic tool right here this pin is actually shorted to ground with the little uh, you know it's not you probably will not be able to see but there's a little uh, there's a little wire there that's connect you know that short that is shorted it to ground so let's try and see what 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 we see because I did not even plug in it yet so I'm gonna do it. Uh, let me see which way it goes right here. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do is actually try to turn on the battery with 12 volt and 100 milliamps, okay? So let me try to do this. Okay. So we definitely had something going on here. Looks like it was enough to power it on. So let me disconnect it and try to connect it again and see what's gonna happen. Connection okay, yes. So all it, all it needed is just a little uh, push, okay? So, uh, Let's see, let's see what, what do we have here, pack info. Zero, this is like completely dealt. <laughs> Okay, so now we see the uh, information about the controller and uh, and the firmware version, I guess. This information, okay. So now let's go ahead. Let's let's check the back info. Okay, yeah. So voltage is really low here, as you can see. 
So let's go ahead and unseal it. Okay, unseal. Full access mode. Let's go back to pack info. Unsealed. Okay. So what do we do next? Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and bump it up our amperage to 500 milliamps. Okay, 512 volt. And we're gonna go back in settings and click on repair pack. Okay, so it is unsealed, full access mode. And double check. Unsealed, okay. Unsealed, and now we're gonna go back and click on repair pack. Not sure if you can see, but it says auto repair there on the bottom. Oh, here we go. I think the, yeah, the, the power supply just turned on and just started taking charge. So let's go back. Auto repair done. That's what it says here. Auto repair done. Okay. Go back to pack info and see what we have here. Okay. So it's definitely, yep. There is some changes in the, in the voltage on the battery. So, this is pretty cool. So it's already at three volts. And we wanna make sure that all the cells, there's three cells here, they kind of uh, keep it in the same range, I believe. So they have to, you know, you cannot uh, have one at three volt and now one at two volts so they have to be you know you have to make sure they're kind of on the same page because otherwise it's just gonna the controller gonna lock up again but uh, what we need to do here is just wait till uh, till these cells will reach 3.5 volts and after that they can disconnect the battery and uh, not just connect we need to actually seal it let me see So after after we we reach three point uh, point three point five volt, we can go back and uh, in settings and hit pack reset, and that will seal our pack because it's unsealed now. So we're gonna wait a little bit. This is pretty awesome. Without this little tool, this battery would be toast. I mean, there's nothing you can do with it, you know, with it, because it's dead, completely dead. So it would be, you know, it would be a waste. With this little tool, we can recycle this battery. You know, it can go back in a laptop, because I believe the per percentage, so the way, you know, the way it shows uh, in the system profiler or in coconut battery, uh, it is showing health, like in coconut battery, the health is like over 90%. I think this one is like 95%. And I'm not sure I did not write it, uh, you know, did not write it down. But uh, the actual <clears throat> the actual health is, is perfect. You know, the load cycles are low, uh, like under 100 load cycles. So it, this is perfectly working battery with shot controller. So that's what we're doing right now. It's not, not the shot controller, but... Uh, uh, in a fa you know it's controlled in a, s a fail safe mode so basically you know it's it's you cannot charge it you cannot do nothing without with this battery just uh, discard it 
that's all it is there's this little tool you know we can uh, we can go ahead and use this battery because this is perfectly fine and perfectly working battery so this is this this little tool will definitely get some use because I have a couple of these batteries this is just first battery I'm trying to get going and uh, so far so far so good 3.3 3.2 3.2 3 so they're pretty close to one another the banks are on the same page pretty much so this is pretty good and I'm not sure about this you know that's on top it says health 101 percent and two percent charge so it, it's possible that you know these batteries are like you know it's in perfect shape maybe even 995 as I thought originally it is capacity free oh yeah it's actually full charge capacity yeah yeah so this battery is oh yeah I mean, I'm well wow I didn't even see you can see all this information right here so it has 12 cycles okay so you can see right here this is 12 cycles 12 cycles design capacity charge capacity so this battery is like brand new 2018 so this is this might be from 2000 from a 1932 model i mean they're the same batteries anyway but this is uh this is pretty awesome that's all i can say so we're gonna get this battery back to its glory yeah perfectly working battery and uh, the reason it died most likely I uh, probably took it out of the uh, liquid damaged MacBook Air so uh, uh, sometimes they die because if they you know if you leave the uh, if you leave the laptop discharged for a prolonged period of time this battery will die as well but in this case I believe it was liquid damage but there's no liquid on the actual battery nowhere so uh get shorted from the from the board side i i, I believe not shorted but it, it went in a fail safe mode but let's wait for a little longer see you know till we reach about uh 3.5 volts and we're gonna go ahead and seal it up and uh let me see because this uh, original, you know, this this is the extra cable that came with it, and this this these are the cables for the these are the cables for the newer batteries for the MacBook Pro batteries, the ones with the uh, the Touch Bar and A seventeen oh eight, so all the newer two thousand sixteen plus MacBooks. okay so we have over 3.5 volts right now and let's go ahead and uh, disconnect the power supply okay power supply is disconnected and uh, we're gonna go back and Reset back. Reset back down. So let's go back and check the back info. Sealed. And we are good, I believe. 100% health charge. Cycle counts. So let's just connect now, connect it again and see what do we have in this case. Okay. 
connection okay okay and we see everything all information we used to have okay and we are in good shape i believe full charge capacity design capacity so it is a little you know 100 percent yes so it's 100 percent the battery health is 100 percent 12 load cycles and it's back to life thank you very much for watching if you like my videos please subscribe thank you very much appreciate that Bye.